Today I'll be showing you how to create a speed text effect using Photoshop. What we need to do first is go up to file, select new. I'm opening up a 800 by 800 height for this one. Click OK. What we need to do first is select the paint bucket tool. As black selected as our foreground color, we proceed to fill this background. Left click to fill. What we need to do next is switch to background color. From foreground, we do this by clicking this little arrow here. Left click on the mouse, you can see it switches over. Then we select text tool and proceed to type in the text that we want to do the effect on. In this case, I'm typing in love to help.com. Once you have your text selected, what we do, need to do next is merge these two layers together. We do this by pressing and holding down control and pressing E on the keyboard. As you can see, it's merged together. Now what we need to do is go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and set it between 0.8 and 1.5. I'll select one for this one. Click OK. What we need to do next is go up, back up to filter, down to stylize, to solarize. Should get this kind of effect now. Then what we need to do next is go up to image, adjustments, auto levels. Once we have that done, we go up to filter, to store polar coordinates. Select polar to rectangular. OK, press OK. Once you have that done, we go to Image, down to Rotate Canvas, to 90 degrees counterclockwise. Click OK. Once that's done, we go to Filter, Stylize, Wind. Then we select Wind, from left direction, OK. Once we have that done, we go back up to image, down to rotate canvas, 90 degrees clockwise. That should be the effect you have now. Then we go back up to filter, distort, polar coordinates, rectangular to polar, OK. Once we have that done, Effects are almost over. What we need to do is add some color to this effect. We do this by going up to Image, Adjustments, Human Saturation, and just fiddle in with the colors to whatever you like. Something like that looks fine. Okay, and that's a speed text effect using Photoshop.